Hello everyone, hope you all are fine. I tried various sellers on Amazon for laptop spare parts, but they never sent me the actual product, what they promised or shown. Sometimes I uh, got broken uh, not working parts and things which are not compatible at all. Anyways, in this whole process, I had to disassemble it many times and now I'm going to tell you how to do that. It's a general disassembly guide and I'm using Asus K53M series laptop here so let's start taking apart and rebuilding a laptop will enable you to change out components clean your system or scrap the internal components of the laptop as this is a general guide which may help you to disassemble the laptop the process is to remove the components you can reach first being careful uh, to disconnect any cable to the component first i would advise you to take a picture of each step to help you reassemble your laptop at the end of the process keep careful track of the screws and where they go as different sizes and kind of screws can be used uh, on the same component you'll need a small um, screwdriver depending on uh, the make of your laptop turn it off unplug it and remove the battery by uh, moving the locked side door uh, to the unlock position remove the back panels by unscrewing all available screws be sure to look under the rubber feet and behind stickers for any hidden screws uh, many components will be immediately accessible after removing the covers generally you can remove the storage drive uh, memory wireless card first remove the memory models by pressing down on the clips and hold each models in place don't touch the gold pins uh, on the module the storage drive might be screwed up if there are screws remove them keeping track of where each one goes the next step is to remove the hinge cover plate and keyboard some laptops are having screws on the hinge cover plate uh, some do not if there are screws they can be inside the removed battery area or on the hinge cover plate sometimes there is a small notch that makes this easier the plate should come loose easily if there is more than a little resistance check again for screws then remove the hinge cover do not put Pull out the ribbon cable under the keyboard when you remove the keyboard. Uh, it will be held in uh, place by a plastic hinge. Lift the hinge with your fingers or a plastic or any uh, small tool. Remove any other cables in the area under the keyboard. The connectors move either up or forward. If the cable has a small plastic plug, it just pulls out. To remove the laptop screen, remove the antenna cable, the LCD data cable that connects from the area that house the keyboard. After the screws have been removed, the motherboard should come out with no resistance. If there is resistance, check for more screws.